after you create a shape layer from a vector path, you get a lot of groups, a lot of fills, a lot of duplicate materials. So let's simplify things by just typing path and selecting all of the paths that were created. Uh, there's one and uh, the last one. Uh, all I'm going to want is path, so I'm just going to drag those all to the top and then just get rid of everything else that's on the on the converted layer. Now, make sure nothing's selected here. I'm going to add first a uh, stroke and now uh, trim paths. That's about all there is to it. Okay, let's uh, look at the properties of uh, trim paths and stroke. Let's add this to about uh, oh, 10 pixels. And now the next thing we're going to do is uh, animate this stroke by using the trim path. So start dragging uh, some sliders around. I have everything animating at the same time, but let's animate them individually. And do a little test. Okay, that looks about right. The only thing that's left to do is set a couple of keyframes, get this to draw on. Okay, there we go. That's looking pretty good. And then adjust the direction. I'd rather have the L go the other way, so I'm going to click the direction buttons on the path here. Okay, you see them right there? Okay, so the L is going the uh, correct way. Let's try the O. Um, don't like what's going on here. If you have the path selected, it's very easy to, uh, to select points. You just have to pay attention to the cursor. And uh, there it's white, so we can drag a selection around. Now I'm going to right click and we're going to set the first vertex there to start our path. There, going, but it's going the wrong direction. So uh, I'm going to reverse that. Okay, that's better. We'll just proceed all around the logo. I'm going to change the G to have it start. Oh, let's start here. Same thing. Right click. Set first vertex. The G is looking good. I need to set first vertex for the O. And uh, there we go, first vertex. And also reverse the direction on the O. And then check the bottom layer, same deal. Set the first vertex up there and change the direction. Set first vertex and change the direction. And away we go. So that's basically all there is to it. Let's go back to the G. I'm not sure that I like the way the G is animating on. There we go. That's all there is to it. Now I've got it just the way I want it.